Now you know I brought it up in the past. Our friend Paul, who everyone who knows him calls him Dumbo for very good reasons. And here's a good example. We go in a pub one day after work and me and Rick go up to the bar to get some drinks. And Paul, Dumbo, he wants to go and go to the toilet. So I said, well, you go to the toilet, we'll get the drinks and we go for into that other bar because it's a bit lively in there and here it is. So I said, all right, so he's off. We get the drinks, we go in the other bar. And there's a couple of rugby teams in there, just finished a match. And they're a bit rowdy, but nothing wrong with that, just having a nice time. We sit down, and then there's double doors that lead into this bar, and they get thrown open. And there's Paul, Dumbo, in the doorway. And he goes, I'm back. And of course, the whole room falls silent. Everyone looks at him. It's just like some sort of scene out of the Wild West. And he comes over, and, I, and everyone's looking at him. I said, what was that about? He said, it's funny, isn't it? I said, no, it's dangerous. It's not funny. It's stupid. But that's Dumbo. We were out in the truck one day. And we get pulled into a lay-by by a police checkpoint, a routine checkpoint. You know, they've got a couple of police cars, a couple of motorcycle cops. So I pull in, and the motorcycle cop comes over to me. He said, um, it's just a routine roadside check, sir. So he said, have you got all your documentation? So I said, yeah, so it does all the checks. And yeah, that's all in order. He said, uh, I'll just make sure everything's OK with the vehicle. I said, yeah, fair enough. And I, I'm the only one that had got out of the truck at that point, because I've left Rick in there sat next to Dumbo, who's in the middle of the bench seat at the front. And I'd, before I got out, I said to Rick, I said, don't let him get out of the truck. I said, he'll do something stupid. So I'm at the back now with this motorcycle cop, and then Rick gets out, because he wants to know what's going on. So he gets out, leaves the door open, gets back. He said, how's it all going? I said, no, no, it's fine, isn't it? I said, I've explained to him that we haven't had the vehicle long, but it's all MOT, you know, there shouldn't be anything wrong. And then at that point, Dumbo, jumps out, jumps out the truck, lands on the pile facing us and the police officers and goes, come on pigs, <sighs> what? And the police officer with me said, and what's all that about it? I said, oh, no, he's an idiot, he's just doing things for attention. I said, I said, Rick, make him go back in the truck. So Rick goes over there, drags him back in there, slams the door and then the, the truck shakes about a bit so I don't know what's going on in the cab, but I thought, well at least he's sorted that problem. Well at least I thought he had. Because then the police officer, who was me, the motorcycle cop, wearing his motorcycle boots and a big coat, said, um, well, I think we need to have a more thorough look of your vehicle, don't we? I said, oh, yeah, that's ain't like that. I said, no, no, no. He said, I think we do. So he's walking all around it, maybe put all the lights on and off. And then he's took his coat off, laid it on the floor and crawled underneath. Oh, well, what is he doing? He's desperate to find something wrong there because of dopey in the front of the truck. And then he gets out from under there, he said, no, oh, can't find anything wrong there. I said, well, there shouldn't be. And then he has a look at my tyres. And he said, they're cross-ply tyres. I said, oh, are they? He said, and they're radial tyres. I said, right. He said, well, you're allowed to have radials on that end of the vehicle, and you can mix cross-plies as long as they're on that end. But he said, you've got them the wrong way around. So he said, that's an offence. So he said, I'll be charging you for that. I went, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't know about this. I said, I bought it from the auction, that's how it came. I said, but better than that. I said, look over there, 100 yards away, the tyre place. That's me mate, Jock. I said, I can just go drive there. He'll change them round. I'll come back in and you go, yeah, job done. He said, oh, yeah. But then you'll drive the vehicle illegally to get there. I said, yeah, but I didn't. I said, oh, well, ignorance is no excuse. I said, oh. so I'll get a ticket and a fine because of dopey in the truck. Anyhow, I'll see you later. If you really like listening to what I've got to say, you can do us both a favour. If you subscribe, but don't forget to ring the bell, and then you'll get notifications when I make a new video, and then you can see more and more of me. What luck. See you soon.